Hi, I'm Jessica Borner. My topic for today is how to be a good human. So just off the bat, this is a very general, broad statement. I think it's probably worth talking about, well, what is it to be a human then? Or what is it to be a man? Um, well, everybody in here, I think, would say, yeah, I'm a human. Sitting here, if you're going to say, yes, everybody here is a human, there has to be some sort of common factor, a common denominator. Um, most clearly, we each come from a lineage of other humans. There seems to be this evolution or this progress, right, of people before us that have allowed us to say with confidence, yes, I am a human and not like a robot or not some other thing. So with this lineage, this evolution, and I know some of you guys came in and left, but the theme for today has been evolution as a whole and how as humanity, as a part of humanity, we can progress and sort of evolve. There's so many broad definitions. Me loving to define words, decided I would try to define it. So evolution, came across this definition, the gradual development of something, especially from a simple to a more complex form. I was like, okay, well, a more complex form. That's sometimes helpful, but sometimes the more complex of a form or a more complex theory is actually less applicable to people as a whole. You can have complex ideas or theories that apply to a very specific subsection, and that's helpful because you want a 12-step process in how to do a certain function. I was like, well, I think philosophy as a whole can actually help us come up with theories or ideas that would apply to people on a much larger scale than just these complex theories. So I kept looking and I found this one. A process of change in a certain direction. I like this one because it was really general. I was like, okay, a process of change. So I'm preparing for this talk and thinking about how me, without any other lineage, just myself, the life of Jess Borner, has progressed to sort of change in an ideal direction. I was thinking about my early years, and um, I actually grew up being homeschooled by my parents up until middle school. And all those years are kind of a blur, right? I just kind of, whatever, ate, hung out with my dad, ate again, maybe did some homework in there or something like that. Um, but all that changed when I went to middle school. Um, now, sixth grade, now I grew up in Southern California, so sixth graders in Orange County are not the friendliest bunch, although I bet that everybody in here probably has some sort of negative impression or memory from middle school. That required a lot of change for me, because not only did I not really know anybody, but I also had all these sort of weird nuances and habits that I'd accumulated over many years of being homeschooled. It wasn't like, I don't know, I was like weird and trendy, I did my own thing. It was like the weird kid that sat in the corner and ate glue, like that kind of weird. So like a month or so went by and I still wasn't getting more normalized. I wasn't really changing and adapting. I was still kind of an outcast. So, you know, sixth grade me was like, well, I don't know what to do because everything that I think makes sense, other, my peers are kind of saying, well, that's weird. So I thought, okay, well, there's this one girl that seems to be really awesome. Her name was Noelle, Noelle Merkovich. And I was like, Noelle is cool, and I want to be cool. So Noelle does these things that people...